For all my wax people out there, right now I am melting Sugar Cookie Royale from L3. And I love this scent. It is so subtle, but it just brings me so much joy and happiness. If you know, you know. But this week, I am coming out, y'all, with a plan with me for the week of May 30th through June 5th. I just filmed the last plan with me, which was the Eliza one. And I just drank a mini Coke, so I think I might be more peppy in my steppy. So this week, I am using the, I believe this was the March Mystery and I feel like Brian always lucks out where I try and find like a kit that kind of goes with him to use for the week of his birthday. I don't need like, I don't do anything for Brian's birthday, but like he always gets a birthday kit because what else happens in June? I don't know. Like a pride week and that's all. That's everything. That's the only things I have going on in June. So Brian always gets some kind of nod in my thoughts of what kit I picked this week. So I love this kit. I think it's super cute. 90s babies. <sighs> it's just adorable. I love the colors. I love the theme. I just think it's a vibe. It's an aesthetic. It's nostalgia. And I'm so glad that y'all liked it. I feel like these year, this year's mysteries are just so good. So, so good. I think the only one I have left to do is October. I'm waiting on that art. And the artist said it should be to me at the end of the month. And then I have up until January, I think. January or February. Including like Cyber Money Mystery too. But I can't think if it's January. We have January done for sure. But I don't know if I have February done. But anyways, love mysteries. And I'm obsessed with this one. So cute. Definitely one of my favorites of the year. I think it's a fun colorway, a fun theme. And I love these underlays with it. These are the Plan I Hannah. I don't remember what they're called. Maybe like hippie or tie-dye or something like that. I got them unfoiled. I thought that that would be a cool look since I am using the foil bundle that came with the kit. That is like the black sparkly, which looks basically black to the naked eye. Maybe with a little bit of like a blue purple like hue to the black. But then whenever you like shine a light on it or look at it under like light, it has like a really beautiful sparkle, which I love. Just gives it like a little nice touch and also it's just fun to have like a black foil sometimes just something different so this week was pretty fun um it wasn't crazy or anything like that but lots of things lots of things and also i wanted to have a box that was kind of plain for a quote because i feel like i had two quotes i wanted to use in red foil and i didn't want to cover that many boxes so i decided to take the little extra plaid pieces and use it kind of as a backdrop I do kind of miss that box on the bottom washi page that was like just a pattern because it was always like the perfect box for a quote but also sometimes like you don't have a quote for a kit and I sometimes try and like make boxes that would be good for quotes whether they're like a more minimal flat lay or something or like a scene like that could be quotable could have quote on it could covered by a quote I don't know but in this one, I feel like all of the boxes were so good. I just really hurt me to cover them. And I did cover one of them. But anyways, let's start talking about the week. While well, I am using the print impression inserts, they are the SPC version. And I am, I had it showed in the beginning an Aura Cell Planner. It's the, like, one of the gemstone ones. And then what else? All of the red foil that you see is from Planner Choco or Choco. And then, like I said, the underlays are from Planning Hannah. And then the other foil is from my shop. So on the sidebar, I did put in that it was six months until we have a cruise plan. I'm very, very excited about it. It'll be our first cruise ever and also just kind of like uh, something fun to do. And then I also put in, I think I put new ring, but it's not a new ring. So long story short is whenever I like was like picking out an engagement ring, because I feel like that's a very common thing. I was really wanting to get a gold band and everyone in my life told me that gold is trendy. This was like seven, eight years ago now. I don't even remember gold is trendy, you're not gonna like it in a couple of years, get silver or like white gold, it's classic. And I didn't listen to my intuition and I regretted it every, not every day, you know, but I've regretted it since that I didn't get a gold band. And then I remember talking about it to whoever and they were like, you could get it reset. And I was like, 
great idea. And then I've drugged my feet on it as far as like, I mean, it's like fine as it is. And like, I don't want to be missing it for like however long I thought it was going to take like months. And then also like how much is it going to cost? Like, I don't know, all these things. And then I also just am lazy, right? So whenever Brie was here, she wanted to get a present for her husband and she wanted to get him a new wedding band that was like something like cute and she ended up getting one from Tiffany's. I actually got Nick a new one too because his is like so beat up and he loves it. But anyways, we're not talking about Nick here. And then while I was there, I asked the person that was working with us and I was like, hey, just out of curiosity, like, what's the wait time? How much would it cost to get this, my engagement ring reset in gold? And they were like, oh, you know, usually takes like 10 days. And I think the last time I did it, it was like $800. And I was like, I've been thinking about this for seven years. Let's go ahead and do it. I was like, can you just like double check everything? Like, that like timing and like price and everything. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes back and he's like, well, it's going to take 10 days, but I was wrong. It's complimentary. And I was like, excuse me? It's complimentary? What? I was just like, what is even like happening? I was like, okay, sure. Yeah, free in 10 days. Bye ring. See you later. And I got it back this week, which was super exciting. And I've never been more in love with it. And I do wish that I would have just gotten gold in the beginning. But also, it doesn't hurt. It's probably because they could probably reuse the band, like the metal And then, like, maybe gold is cheaper, so it ends up probably being better for them in the view or something like that. There's probably some kind of background thing that I don't know about, but I thought that was amazing. And I was very excited about it this week. And then I also, I got Nick a wedding band. I feel like it's just, like, men's bands are just, like, so inexpensive. And I got him this really cute gold one so that we can match. And I thought it was, like, a cute little gesture. On Monday, I put in that it was Memorial Day, and my in-laws came over, and we just all hung out, and we just cooked steaks, and I made coleslaw, which was not very great. I feel like I've tried, I don't know, like five coleslaw recipes online, and I feel like they always come out too sweet or too vinegary, but I feel like the ones from HelloFresh, I'm going to have to look up like what... I think it's like sour cream, mayo, salt, pepper, and something else. Maybe there's vinegar in it. But I, maybe like, and I think like the ones online that I did were like a tablespoon of sugar or two tablespoons. And they have like good reviews. But I think the ones from HelloFresh maybe had like a dash of sugar or something. I don't know. But I feel like if you have a good coleslaw recipe, please let me know down below link it to me, DM it to me. I just feel like I'm like sick of searching for the perfect coleslaw recipe. And I love slaw. I did not like coleslaw in my past, but now it's like one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. I just think it's delicious. But anyways, we had steaks, which were so good. I feel like H-E-B has such good meat. Um, Also Whole Foods, but H-E-B is cheaper and just as good as far as meats go. And I, and we also had mac and cheese because the boys, hot dogs, mac and cheese, it was easy. Then I gave Girlie a bath this day and then we watched 90 Day. Then on Tuesday, I had Starbucks and then I hung out with Lila and then we just had some family time, hung out. I've been also trying to like, when I do fun underlays, trying to like show it more with like cutting boxes and stuff. I feel like the new format makes it so much easier to like see things because there's like I think there's is there more square ones or the same amount and then there's also the like smaller ones which I'm so excited to play with they're super cute then what else we had Ike's for dinner which I have been re-obsessed with Ike's I feel like I was obsessed with Ike's like three years ago and then I kind of forgot they exist which we do all of the time and basically like it's a goal for this year for me to like I want to make like a spreadsheet or something of like all my favorite food places in Austin and like categorize them by like fast food barbecue Asian um I feel like that's like a lot of what I eat like others things pizza like and just keep like a running list that has like different categories for like distance and then like what kind of food it is did like what did we rate it how far away is it like all the things I just want to have a really like good list so that whenever we're like what should we eat where should we eat like I always forget things 
things. And then I always end up eating at the same places. But yeah, and then also on the list, I could have things that like I want to try. Like have I tried? No. And then sort it and be like, oh, we're going to try a new one. Randomize the numbers that are left. Pick it out. It'd be fun. Goal for this year. So anyways, Ike's. I love Ike's. Oh, so good. They have uh, first their bread in general, the Dutch crunch bread. So good. And then also one of their sauces, it's called like yellow barbecue. Also, let me know, is this a thing? Like, I'll probably forget about to like look it up, but like, can you buy yellow barbecue sauce? What is yellow barbecue? Because like, I just want it. It's so good. It's like a 10 year barbecue sauce. Maybe a little bit vinegary barbecue sauce. Oh, it's just delicious. Ikes, if you have one near you, try it out. I think they only have them in a couple of states, but it's worth a look. Then I had my bi weekly FaceTime date with Kane. I don't know what we talked about this night. I don't remember. And then Nick went to the movies this night, so it all worked out that we had our own things. Nick went to see Bob's Burgers, which I had literally no interest in seeing. And I talked my BFF. Then on Wednesday, I had Starbucks in the morning, and then I had Chipotle again. Which I have tried Chipotle like four times now, and I am just bored. It's just like, meh. It's like fine. And I got Brian, because Brian likes Chipotle a lot. I got his order, like, to order next time. And then a couple of other people also sent me their order, so I'm going to try those. The thing is that I want to like Chipotle so badly, because, like, convenience and, like, I feel like so many people like Chipotle. It's like when I didn't like In-N-Out, and now that I know what to order at In-N-Out, what I like. Which recently I tried something new at In-N-Out. I think it was actually this week. I'll get to it when I get to it, but... I feel like if I know what I like, it would be easy and like it would be like a nice option to have as like something quick, but I just have not gotten there. Basically this time, I think I got like a rice bowl. It had the barracoa. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. And then cheese, lettuce, um, sour cream possibly. Was there queso on it? I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't remember. It was that memorable. And it was so funny because I, like, Nick took his to his, like, room and then I took mine to my office. And I was, like, eating it and I was like, this needs hot sauce. So I went and to get the hot sauce and it was gone and I was like, oh, maybe somebody finished it and didn't, like, open a new one. So I, like, got a new one out and I went to, like, go talk to Nick as I was, like, peeling the wrapper off. And he had the hot sauce in his room and I'm like... We're literally on the same page. And no joke, I probably put a quarter of a cup of hot sauce on this food. And it was still, like, fine. But I'm I'm still, I'm not giving up on Chipotle. I really want to like it. It's, like, I'm hopeful. But then we went to the dentist for the boys. And my boys are so good at the dentist. Honestly, I could cry because I feel like I have such, like, medical and dental anxiety. Like, the last time, like, well, the last first time I went to the dentist so like p- long period of time I didn't go and then the la- the first time I went back after that long period of time I literally cried like in like full-blown like hyperventilating cried in the seat because it just gives me so much anxiety um but my boys were so good I obviously don't let them see that fear in me because even like them going to the doctor's appointment or the dentist's appointment was like it stressed me out all day long. Like, I was stressed and, like, leading up to it, I was just like, I don't want to go. Like, I didn't have to go, but, like, I want to go. Um, it was, like, a really stressful day. Like, I just was, like, it's just a lot because I just, I don't like doctors and dentists. So, I feel like it was a lot. But they're so good. Like, I just always leave just so proud of them because they just, like, are perfect. And they have perfect little teethies. Then I just put in that this day was like super busy. I was just running around like a chicken without a head. And then for dinner, I got chewies. I got some queso and tres leche. And I accidentally ordered the wrong thing. I accidentally ordered tacos with like fajita steak in it or something like that. Usually I get like the ground sirloin, but I don't know like what I clicked. I probably was just like, we're getting chewies, pressing buttons, pressing buttons, and then that's what happens. But their queso is my favorite queso. I also like Velvet Taco's queso, but I feel like it's like Velvet Taco's version of queso where Velvet Taco's tacos are not like tacos. They're like weird tacos. And their queso is the same way where I don't like sit and think like, oh, this is like 
queso. It tastes like some kind of weird fancy cheese dip. But I would say those are my two favorite quesos, but I think Chewy's wins because it's just like queso queso. Like you're, that's what you know, that's what you get. And it has like a little bit of spice to it, but not like anything actually real. And then Nick didn't feel good, so I filmed a bunch this night, kind of like I'm doing tonight. I'm doing two voiceovers and three wax hauls. Then I put in on Thursday that I went to the domain with Amanda because I so badly needed a pedicure. And I texted her and I was like, hey, do you do pedicures? And she's like, yeah. I don't think she like wants to do pedicures all the time, but she was, took one for the team on this one. So we got pedicures. We, we chatted and like had a good little time. I always get white on my toenails, but this time I got bright orange. I'm kind of living for it, like neon orange. Let me know if you have like a specific color you go for for your nails or your feet because I would love to know. I always pick white because it's clean and matches everything, but I went wild and crazy. Then we, uh, I went and like picked up my ring this day and I was so excited. And then I also went and did a little retail therapy afterwards. And then we went to North and I love North. For a while, it was another restaurant that like I had something that I really liked, which was their chicken sandwich and they discontinued it. But I love their farm salad. I think that North is in, there might be two in Austin, but I know that there's other ones in the country. And they have this like, it's like, I don't know if it's farm Italian salad or something but it's so good and then they're like bread with like ricotta whip or something is really good and then also their kids chicken tenders are fire because it's like basically like a piece of like what like they make their chicken parm and they just like cut it and it is like breaded to perfection the flavors are there and I feel like it is not an easy thing in my opinion I feel like you can mess up like a chicken parm, like a chicken cutlet, and theirs are so good. So yeah, I could actually go for that right now. I feel like every time I talk about food, I get so hungry, but I ended up not eating all my salads and not all the bread either was eaten. So I got to take that home and Nick had like a whole meal, which was perfect. Then I gave Nick his ring. I was going to save it for Father's Day, but like I'm so bad not at keeping secrets. I feel like I'm pretty good at keeping secrets besides like all everybody I know knows that if you tell me Nick's also going to know whatever it is like if it's a secret because like I can't keep a secret from Nick it's not going to happen I don't try and pretend like it's a thing he's like literally my best friend like we hang out every single day so it's going to happen that's the thing but otherwise I'm good at keeping secrets I'm just not good I think it's only Nick like I can't wait to give Nick presents I feel like everybody else I'm like fine with waiting but like for some reason like whenever I get like find something perfect for Nick I just want to give it to him and like see his reaction then and like I couldn't wait I just I'm bad at it and I also got him a bunch of vinyls that he didn't have um they were from Childish Gambino and then what was the other one I pre-ordered him one it's this I can't think of what her name is but they had like a signed edition at Walmart but I don't remember what her name is it's I don't really like her music but Nick like loves it and I pre-ordered him the Minions vinyl and then something else, but I don't remember. Oh, it was a Kid Cudi album. So I gave him those as well because I was just like, might as well have it all. And now I have nothing for Father's Day, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. But we're the same way about like birthdays and Christmas. We both just sometimes cave. But usually for Christmas, at least we make it to Christmas Eve and then we do our own little like thing Christmas Eve and it's kind of like tradition at this point but I was so excited and he loved it and I was worried that he wouldn't like it but he's like actually obsessed with it and it just makes me so happy that I like I don't know that like he likes it and I picked it out then for dinner we had McDonald's that's just I don't know and then we watched Plathville 90 Day and North from Queens is anybody surprised no not really on Friday I put in that it was Brian's birthday and the new Post Malone album came out which I've been waiting for for forever. I will admit I do like the album but I prefer every older album more but it's new Posty. I cannot be mad about it but like I said I like all the older albums better. It did it didn't blow my mind but it was good and I listened to it. I've listened to it a bunch of times. I think I like the new Avril Lavigne album better. I've listened to it more 
and I enjoy more of the song. So there is that. And then I put in that I bought all of the wax this day. So much wax. I think I ordered Rose Girls, which I just got today. I'm going to haul. I also ordered an L3 on this day and I got it this day. And then I also placed an order with Tassie Girl Aroma. And I think that was a pre-order. I feel like I might have also ordered from Teddy B's this day. I feel like honestly, no, that was that was a couple weeks ago. I love wax. And every time I'm like, I'm going to sit this one out. Today I ordered from uh, Vintage Chic Scents. Had like a strange, Stranger thing pre-order and there was a lot of good scents that I wanted to try so I ordered from them and then I also ordered from Birdie's she had like a little opening with like butter and Hannah's Babies and Car Stinkies and I wanted the Hannah's Baby Car Stinky so I was like I might as well get everything else and what else did I order I don't know I'm just obsessed with wax it just makes me so happy and it's like I don't know like it's a mini hobby as far as like every day I change out my wax I like write it in my little sheet. I love the experience. I love getting new wax. I love just everything about it. And I'm happy that I have something going as far as a hobby. Something that's just for fun. And I love it. Then I also had a hair appointment this day. I just did my normal half of my head the roots. Half of my head tone. Hair treatment. Call it a day. It's super easy. I actually, I switched salons last time and it was like a little long appointment probably like she's trying to figure out like the process but then this time it was only like two and a half hours which was not bad at all or two hours it might have been two hours or two and a half I don't know but it was really really fast compared to like every other hair appointment I've had and then I did a target run on my home I had some family time and then this night we went on a date night I think yeah we went on a date night and it's Fuego Latina. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure, but it was kind of like a last minute decision. And it's a place that we, I think we've gotten it to go before, but we really wanted to try it like in-house because it seems like something that would be best like you get it out of the kitchen and eat it. And it was so good. What did we get? There was like empanadas that were so good. And then there was, like, this street corn, like, trio that was, like, three different types of, like, street corn and, like, different, like, flavorings on them and stuff. And it was really good. And then Nick got, actually, I don't remember what Nick got. I don't remember. But I got, like, a steak with, like, these potato things and, like, this, like, cream on it. And it was delicious. And then there was churros for dessert. And the chew, the churros were banging so good definitely will be going back there because there was like I wanted to try basically everything on the menu so I will be going back there I, just, I love trying new food places like I feel like for so long I was like let's just go here we know it's good and it's easy and now I'm just like I want to try everywhere just everything just just give me all the foods please that's why I need a spreadsheet on Saturday I spent part of the morning cleaning out the refrigerator I cleaned out my closet last week. This week I cleaned the refrigerator. Just trying to do one task a week. And I feel like eventually I'll get through everything. Then I just cuddle on the couch with the kiddos. And then we played outside. And then Nick was like, why don't you take Theo over to the farmer's market? Because our favorite like stand at the farmer's market is the like Nordic bakery one and everything they make is amazing and I think for the past like two weeks they've had I don't know what they're called they're like little cups and they have like a little bit of cake maybe or something and like a little bit of cream and then like a little bit of strawberry something and they're like chilled and they've had them and they always sell out of them so I was like all right we're gonna go and we're gonna go early and Nick's like why don't you go and take Theo so me and Theo went had a great time, got our treats, then we went to Target afterwards, I think he bought a book, and then we went home and ate our treats, and it was so cute, because Theo was, like, I was, like, giving him bites of, like, from this little jar of the stuff, and he's, like, no, I do it, so he literally, like, grabbed it, and, like, took the spoon and was, like, shoveling it in his mouth, it was quite delicious, but everything we get from them is, like, so, so good, and especially, like, because they, like, change up the desserts with the, like, season, of sorts or like the times of the Nordic like different treats if that makes any sense um 
there's always something new and like just so good for lunch we got mcdonald's no surprise i need to use the like fast food again sticker from the kirsten sampler then the krasinski kids came over kirsten called me she called i don't remember what day it was it was one day this week and she like literally sounded like she she was in jail or something and like I needed to bail her out like I got nervous like Kirsten especially if Kirsten's not at work and Kirsten calls me I feel like Brian calling me I'm just like uh ready for a story but Kirsten calling me I'm always like this is weird so like she literally sounded like she was running a marathon and like I needed to bail her out of jail and she was just about to ask me to like take her kids so she can move to like I don't know the woods so she didn't get caught from like the police or something I don't know she just sounded panicked basically and she's like hey what are you doing tomorrow I think it was the day before then what are you doing tomorrow and I'm like I don't know nothing she's like can you watch my kids and I was like sure why and she's like uh I got this thing tickets soccer blah 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 it all I all left my head then because I was like I don't understand anything soccer. I was like yeah sure like just tell me a time and drop them off like it's more the merrier. And I got to play like mom to five this day, which basically I cut up like two pounds of strawberries this day. Those kids, all four of them, can pound down fruit. But anyways, so they dropped them off and they went to their little soccer thing. Um, so we just like played outside and did like water stuff, like water tables, sprinkler, played on the, like the playscape play set thing, did all the things, ate snacks, got lunch. We got McDonald's. That's why we got McDonald's, um, played outside. And then the, the, I would say the Krasinski's, Brian and Kirsten got back and we got Ike's for dinner. Cause again, I want an Ike's kick. And yeah, it was a good day. The boys had a lot of fun. They always love whenever Avery and Reagan come over and then they ask about them every single day until they see them again, which is super cute. But on Sunday, I put in that Bennett got up by himself this day, which was really cute. Normally he like stays in bed and like reads his books and like that's basically what he does. He just loves looking at books for like hours. Like he would wait until we woke up, which we wake up like pretty early, like 6 30 seven is probably like like latest is seven that we'll wake up but I told him before I was like hey you know if you like wake up and it's light outside like you can get dressed to go to the bathroom do all the things you need to do and this day was really funny because I like didn't tell him much more than that but he like did all his whole routine and then he came downstairs got his iPad off the counter and went and sat on the couch and just like played Minecraft and I thought that that was like the cutest thing ever so I wanted to mark it and then I, what do we do this day? Oh, uh, the boys wanted to go to the in-laws this day, so they went. And then I decided to go to work again this day because I think I had something going on the next day that was going to make it complicated for me to work. I don't remember what it was, but I knew I needed to go to work this day and I just printed out orders. And then we decided to go to the domain after and get true food for brunch. And it was so so yummy. I, mean, I love True Food. Another one, if you have one in your area, definitely check it out. I got like a breakfast scramble and Nick got some pancakes. And then right now it's like a seasonal like strawberry lemonade. It's so good. It's like the perfect lemonade to me because it's not like super sweet. It's not super lemony. It mostly just tastes like a flavored water. Maybe like a, like a, a slight step up to that. Then we went to Nordstrom because Nick needed some new shirts because he sized up and has nothing that fits him as far as like something like that's a little bit above a t-shirt. Like if we go somewhere like he can wear something like not a t-shirt. And then we went to Starbucks Reserve so that Nick could get a coffee and then we did an H&M return and then we went to Lululemon because Nick is like super particular about everything that he wears like his underwear he they like were discontinued but then he found somebody's like selling on amazon like new ones obviously but he bought like a ton of them because he's like i can never go without these underwear and i'm like well eventually babe it's gonna happen and the same thing with socks he's like obsessed with a specific pair of lululemon socks but they don't make them anymore so now he's trying to like find whatever is the most similar like he's like looked into like the blends of these socks and like all the different things and like looks at like the specific materials and how they're like ribbed in certain areas and like they're thicker on the heel and it's a whole science with these socks and his underwear and even shirts they have like the neck has to be like not like close to his neck or like it's a whole thing 
So we were there for a minute. I got a visor though, which was kind of cool because I feel like whenever if I go to the pool or something, I don't want to wear like sunglasses, a visor would be nice. And their visor actually was like, it like fits good. It looks modern and like, I don't know. It was a good one. Like if you're looking for a black visor, Lululemon. Then for lunch, we had in and out and I tried something new because I'd been watching the Kardashians and I did not know that you could get grilled onions, which I don't know why I didn't think about it, on a burger and I tried it. I like it, but it's like way messier and I prefer the raw onion. And I love how much onion they put on an In-N-Out burger. It's literally like a whole slice of onion. So normally I get a burger with no tomato, add onion, protein style, but I got the fried onion or grilled onion and it was it was good, but it wasn't, it was saltier too, which was not a vibe, but tried it out. And then for dinner, my in-laws made Kane's like pork chop recipe, which is so good with mashed potatoes and corn. Took a bath, watched the Kardashians, and watched 90 Day. And that is everything for this plan with me. I think the spread turned out so beautiful and I love everything about it. I love the colors, I love the theme, I love the underlays, I love it all. I hope that y'all liked this plan with me. I feel like 31 minutes, I did not know I talked that long, but Hope you like it and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.